Hello friends, let's learn about outdoor join problem resolution means uh, basically when we design a data foundation, we need to specify joins and based on the relationship between the tables, we need to specify either outer join or inner join or uh, like that. So outer join sh we should avoid actually uh, when uh, developing uh, the data foundation because outer join may cause a problem to the uh, performance of the queries. So in this uh, uh, in this video, we will learn about how we can resolve the outer join problem. So basically means uh, if it is not possible to avoid the outer join, then we need to resolve it as well means so uh, so that it will not affect the performance of the query. So let's understand this. So how we can resolve an ambiguous outer join using our aggregate awareness. Uh, so at aggregate aware is one of the function which we can use. So ambiguous outer join is nothing but it supports, IDT supports outer joins in the data foundation. However, depending on the RDBMS, outer joins can create issues in, with the web intelligence queries. So suppose we have uh, three tables, region, client, and sales. So in the RDBMS, we can have client table is joined to a sales table. So when query uses the data from all the three thread tables, the query either may not return the data or may return incorrect results because in region uh, does not have a client no, so there can be no sale so that's why maybe it, it, it may return incorrect results so at, at uh, some of the regions uh, they, there may be no client and uh, as there is no client there will be no sale as well so that's why it, it may cause uh, an uh, incorrect results uh, to be returned so how we can uh, utilize this aggregate aware function. So by aggregate awareness functionality with IDT allows a uh, universe designer to uh, take advantage of uh, pre-aggregated data uh, that exists within, uh, with within the data structure. So suppose uh, we have aggregate awareness uh, which can be used to resolve a particular fan trap that I already covered. Also, it can be used to resolve issues around outer joins. So when we used, uh, when used in the data foundation of the universe. So if there are issues with the RDBMS use, there are two ways to resolve them. Do not use outer joins in the data foundation. So this is the first step means if it is uh, particularly needed only, then we use uh, outer joins. Otherwise, do not use the data foundation. That is the best way to avoid the outer join problems. The second one is create an allies of the table where uh, outer join is required and use aggregate aware in the relevant objects to identify which join part to take uh, depending on the objects used in the query. So this is the aggregate awareness uh, function which we need to use uh, while uh, developing the universes. So we will be seeing this in practically in more detail how we can use this at aggregate aware function to avoid the joy after joint problem. Okay, so that's it. I means let's understand about uh, what we have covered, like which function within IDT was intended to allow universe designers to take advantage of a pre-aggregated data exist within the data structure. So it is aggregate at aggregate aware function is the one function which is uh, used to take the advantage of the pre-aggregated data. So pre-aggregated data is nothing but means we uh, whatever the data is available in the data like a summary table uh, data we have we can use that data so that it will uh, give the correct data. Okay, so that's it from this video. I hope you have understood this outer join problem uh, resolution. If you like my video, then please like it. Please subscribe to my channel as well uh, so that you will get to know about my next video. Thank you for watching.